Hey everyone, my name is Chucky Bartolo and I just found out this second that this ring is probably stuck on my finger forever. <laughs> and welcome to Malta's Mysteries, the show where we dive deep into all the strangeries that go on in this tiny island in the middle of the Mediterranean. Today's discussion is on a topic that is near and dear to my heart and that is celebrity culture, whether we have it or not, why people hate it so much and more than hate it, why people are so confused by it and why they like to pretend that it doesn't exist. So to save you the hassle of wading through the whole video, I'm gonna just answer the question I posed in the title right away. Yes, I do believe that we have celebrities in Malta. If you don't believe in it, I guess we just agree to disagree and you can stick around to find out why. So for those of you who have come to my comedy show in the past, you know that I have a very big sticking point with this fucking island and that is the word personalities it's a word we like to throw around instead of saying celebrity just to make sure we remind them that they can't get too big for their britches because you know i know his cousin sister's ex-wife's husband's dog and she's a real bitch so they must be worse than me <laughs> it's a chip on the shoulder mentality and we need to let go of it if we take a look at the history of the island it's clear to see where this came from 20 to 30 years ago the population was around half i have in my notes that i should probably have looked it up but surprising nobody i didn't so let's say it was around half maybe even one third so 20 to 30 years ago it was very different people like mary rose malia were actually your friend on the television but no matter how much these instagram stars like tamara webb or sarah Zarafa say you guys aren't my fans you're my friends the truth of the matter is you are their fan and that doesn't mean that they don't love you they don't care about you but it's logistically impossible trust me as an adult man i know having more than five friends is a hassle i can't imagine having like 25 to 100 thousand of them it's just logistically impossible they can still care about you it doesn't mean that they think they're better than you it just is what it is you're subscribing to their lifestyle and they are sharing it with you willingly you're a fan i'm sorry to say it but you're a fan so in my job, I've come to meet a lot of local celebrities, which, um, by the way, I just realized is a really good way to still say celebrity because you understand the logic of my argument, so you can't not call them celebrity, but you still hate that there are famous people in Malta who are like thriving. So it's a good way to knock them down a couple of pegs is to slap the word local in front of it. You're so welcome. So I've spoken to quite a few of these local celebrities and it's what they are. Now I consider some of them my friends and some of them I'm still just a fan of. It's the way the world works and you have to accept it. Plus it's fun to have celebrities on the island. It is more fun. Does that mean that you should go about calling people assholes or threatening their lives? Absolutely not, they are still people. But when they are celebrities, not just your friends, it adds one layer of removal that's just interesting. So their fails aren't a shared fail. When my friend fails an exam, I feel bad, it's a shared sadness. If a celebrity falls down a couple of stairs during a performance and doesn't hurt themselves too badly, that's fucking funny. It also means their successes aren't yours, so you can share in them at a distance without feeling jealous. They're not infringing on your life in any way. On the other hand, if there are celebrities, it also means that we have space for super fans. And we all love a good super fan. We love having someone to look up to. And unlike me, who knows, I'm probably never going to meet Mariah Carey, which is just fine for me. I can discuss that later. I would rather not meet her and vomit on her, if you know what I mean. There is an attainable celebrity. If you look up to Ira Losko, she is a celebrity. She's doing very well for herself. But you know you can do something similar because she managed, so you can. And it's much more close, like this ring is to my finger. Seriously, send help. The problem that we have around this topic arises from the fact that this country only deals in extremes, which is why this video series is so important to like break things down a bit, because we don't see gray, it's always black or it's white, and there's never anything in between, and that's just frustrating, and I don't know why it happens. We either reject a foreign concept because it doesn't apply here, or Dr. Baranin Mushtana, or we assimilate it exactly and try and make it our own exactly. It's kind of the topic I was bringing up with the YouTubers in the last video where I said that we try and copy what other people are doing as opposed to pulling a Charlene and just being authentic to ourselves while still learning from the foreigners, the gray area. The same can be applied to celebrity culture. So let's take an example of, let's say, Valentina Rossi because she's my friend. And by the way, I put friend like this, not because um, I think she's not a friend of mine. I think she's my friend. I just sometimes worry about saying that. And then she's like, I absolutely fucking hate Chucky. He's not my friend. You know? Anyway, so that aside, let's just use Valentina Rossi as an example. So just because you know someone who knows Valentina Rossi doesn't make her your friend. And it also doesn't mean that you get to discredit her celebrity because you know someone who knows her. Just having a mutual friend doesn't take away from the fact that she is famous. This is Malta. If we did that with everyone, it would just make 
make no sense. There is always going to be a maximum of two degrees, possibly only one degree of separation from anyone because we are a small population and that's our reality. But just because that's our reality doesn't make her less famous. On the other hand, we are a small island and we are only one degree of separation. So she ain't no Beyonce. She can walk into Lidl with a couple of nuggets in her bag and she may get away with it without having to take a selfie with a fan. So there is, imagine, I mean, just look at that. Balance. A comfortable middle ground, a space where we as a Maltese people can thrive. We can grow our own cool organic version of what celebrity means and make it our own without copying or without disregarding. So that is today's mystery solved-ish. This was my side of the story. I would love to hear what you think down in the comments below. Just avoid the word personality. It grinds my fucking gears. <laughs> If you have any other quirks, questions, or comments you would like me to discuss about the Maltese Islands or about what it's like to live on a tiny island with too many people crammed into one space, let me know. And if you like the content I'm putting out, you can subscribe. There's a bell notification which does something. I'm not really sure what it does, but you can press that too. If you'd like to follow me on other social media, you can find my links in the description box below. And I will see you in the next video. Mwah!